Trump told his advisors that he wants a 16 week. I'm a pro life zealot. With an exception for for him. I think it was disgusting to call that a constitutional right. Ann Coulter and Van Jones went on Bill Maher in a segment that sort of went off the rails in terms of subject matter, but both parties managed to mostly keep their cool, and there was a couple things said that I wanted to look over, from toxic masculinity, reproductive rights, to the gender divide in politics, among other things, and I wanted to start with Van Jones speaking about toxic masculinity and progressives. There's something happening on the progressive side that it feels like almost all masculinity is considered toxic. Mm -hmm. Right. And so you're, I, I think the young men may not feel welcome. Like if, if you're it's just, true. In, in other words, I don't think it's so much of a pull of an Andrew Tate, though that's playing a role. I think it just may be a push. Like if you show up and you want to be just like a regular, you know, guy's guy, you just may not be eating enough kale and doing enough yoga to fit in on the left. <laughs> now, this is interesting because I think Van Jones is both a little right and a little wrong. He is correctly assessing that it is more of a push to blame than a pull from the right. And there will always be the people who, in a search for equality, find themselves overshooting that and landing in extremism. You see this with a lot of people of color saying white people are inherently racist. Or in this case, there are some women or even progressive men who will say all masculinity and and therefore all men is toxic. I think masculinity is something that easily can become toxic, but it's not inherent and it's not all men that are masculine either. Now, what I feel like is more of the cause of the left wanting the is the left wanting the acceptance of toxic masculinity. You have to be able to admit that it's real, which a lot of man's men type of guys won't admit for fear that it makes them toxic or they have too much of an ego to say anything that's negative on men because again, it, it reflects badly on them, which leaves them then looking for an identity. Like, oh, everybody's attacking me. They want me to admit toxic masculinity. Who's gonna prop me up? And that's exactly how losers like Charlie Kirk and Andrew Tate swoop in to to brainwash you that all that inner rage you're feeling is actually just racism and it's justified and you should vocalize it. What do you think, panel, of the report that Trump told his advisors that he wants a 16-week abortion ban with an exception for rape? For him. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty brutal and also thanks Bill Maher because I'm putting that one in my back pocket and using it for the rest of my life. But in all seriousness, let's hear Ann Coulter go off on abortion. Abortion is really hurting Republicans. Um, I don't think you can blame all Republicans for this. I'm glad it was overturned by, by the Supreme Court. I think I'm a pro-life zealot. I think it was disgusting to call that a constitutional right. But it has been sent back to the states. That's all we ever wanted. And guess what, fellow pro-lifers? We're getting slaughtered. There have been seven direct-to-the-people votes, and the tiniest right. restriction on abortion loses overwhelmingly. Wow, it's almost like most of the country supports women making their own decisions and having health care. That's a pretty shocking revelation. I love how she pretends that, like, nobody could have seen that coming. Like, yeah, let's get it thrown back to the state so we can straight up turn abortion draconian in the way we punish it because the only choice for women is no choice at all. And then let's also act surprised when almost all women and even most men are like, whoa, we don't really agree with that. Like women aren't baby making factories. And to her constitutional right comment, 14th Amendment, baby, it's all right there, which only applies to one party in that situation between the mom and the fetus, and the answer doesn't rhyme with yetus. Look, if an Australian buys a plane ticket to America and says, I'm moving to America, he's not instantly subject to US constitutional protections and American law. It's not until he steps foot in our society that our society's law is applied. I think we can agree on that, right? Well, the exact same is for fetuses. Just because he, they're coming to our society doesn't mean they're privy to our laws before they enter. But you know who is the mom? And that's why the choice should forever lie between her and her doctor. It's crazy to me how Republicans don't want the government getting involved in anything until it comes down to women and children, and then they want them to have complete control. And I think that's pretty weird. If you enjoyed this video, we're Social Society. We're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left-leaning, but we're open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that could interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button, leaving us a like, or even commenting on this video. We even have memberships available as low as $3 if you'd like to support, because the only way we become a society is together.